Hey, what's up guys? This is Yanis, and in this video I want to show you how to find the intersection between two arrays in C++. In the previous video I showed you how to find the union of two different arrays and on that one we use vectors to perform that operation but on this one I'm going to use a little bit a little bit of different technique and I'll show you how to do that. So I already got two arrays and they have the same size but they don't have to be the same size. They are not sorted and they're uh, uh, there's a uh, same numbers inside as well. There's a uh, duplicates of some numbers. So let's start by writing the function defi definition, the function prototype actually, and we're gonna call it um, intersection. And we're just gonna pass both of our arrays, and they're both uh, integers. So this is our function prototype. Okay, let's go to the bottom. So the very first thing that we're gonna do, the whole algorithm for this operation of finding intersection is gonna be this. We're gonna take the first array and we're gonna find all the unique numbers in the first array. And we're gonna put all the unique numbers in a different array. Then we're gonna get that array and we're gonna compare every number from that array in to our second array and if those numbers if the number from the first unique array exists in the second one then that means it's our intersection okay so the first thing that we do is we need to find the unique numbers from the first array and we're gonna do it this way we're gonna create a, another integer array to store our unique numbers so we're just gonna call it unique nums and we're just gonna give it a the same size as our first array so at the beginning we're gonna assume that it has six elements in, in total then we're gonna create a integer counter and we're gonna set it equal to zero and we're gonna use this to count how many unique numbers we have in the first array so we're gonna create a for loop that is gonna loop six times and for this one, I'm hard coding the size, but uh, in C++ you can actually uh, get the uh, actual size of the array dynamically uh, by doing like size divided by size off and stuff like that. But I'm not going to do that this time. Then inside we're going to create int integer j. Then we need to loop one more time. So we're going to set j equals 0. And it's going to loop while j is less than i. And we're going to do j plus plus. Then we're going to check if num one bracket i equal equal num two um, equal equal num one bracket j. So what's going to happen is we're going to take the number at i and we're going to compare it to everything before it. And if it matches, that means it's a duplicate. So we're just going to break the loop so there is no point in trying to check the rest because we already know that there is a duplicate of that number. Then, if there was no duplicate, that means j will be incremented until it, it equals to i. So if, if j equal equal i, that means our loop went through all the possible numbers and it didn't find the duplicate. And in this case, the number was unique and we're gonna do unique nums counter equals num1 bracket i then we're just gonna increment the counter so this function is gonna find all the unique numbers from the first array now the rest is kinda simple if you think about it now we're just gonna take the unique num array and we're gonna compare every number from that array to our second array and if they match that means that's an intersection so we're gonna do int i we're gonna have another for loop that is gonna loop uh, well we know that the size of the unique array is counter so we're gonna loop whatever the size of that and inside of this we're gonna create bool and we're gonna call it intersection equals false so at the beginning we're gonna assume that the 
there is no intersection. Then, what we have to do, we need to compare every number from the unique array to every single number to the uh, in the num2 array. So we're going to loop through num2 array and we know the size of the num2 is 6. And we're going to do this. If uh, unique nums bracket i equal equal uh, num2 bracket j this means there was a number in the unique nums array and we also have that number in num2 array in that case we have an intersection then after we check every single number from the num2 we, can, we need to check if we have an intersection and if we do have an intersection that means we got we got an intersection I guess if intersection is true that is an intersection so we're gonna do um, unique nums bracket i and we're just gonna put comma there we're gonna close it and let's test it out so we're gonna call intersection from our main we're gonna pass num1 and num2 and as you can see right now we have intersection of 3 and 4 so we have two intersections and we have duplicates of 3 so it's gonna take care of that as well so let's build and run this and as you can see it displayed 3 and 4 and those are the only two numbers that intersect and that's pretty much it if you have any questions uh, let me know in the comment section thank you very much for watching